Hello everyone, this is Simple Core. In this video I'll be teaching you guys how to create your own video add-on for Kodi. Now I already have a tutorial on this, but the other video add-on that we created in the other tutorial was a bit difficult for you guys to keep up to date. What I mean by that is anytime you wanted to add a new channel or edit a channel, you had to update the add-on itself, which is a bit difficult to keep doing and inconvenient. But as in, but in this tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to create a new add-on of course and uh, every time you want to add or modify a channel or add a new channel or anything like that you won't have to update the add-on itself you just need to edit a text file which can be found online now before we get started i just want to say that this tutorial will be long because i'm going to be going into details so you guys don't run into any issues or problems so first of all let me show you what the add-on will look like before we begin so video add-on as you can see simple core video right here and let me just change the view thumbnail as you can see we have the favorites live tv movies and youtube i open live tv there's the vivo live tv channel there's uh, movies i have the ant-man movie in here youtube i have one of my youtube videos in here so as you can see we have three categories live tv movies youtube we have the favorites so let's add for example a vivo to our favorites as you can see it's right there and we can play it from here so it's really a nice feature to have the favorites feature in the add-on itself so in this video i'll be talking about categories when i say categories i'm talking about live tv movies and youtube I don't consider favorites as a category because it's already in the add-on but you can have as much as categories as you want and uh, you can just have one category if you want and when I say about when I say channel list or anything like that I'm talking about the channels in the categories as you can see I only have one channel which is vivo you can have as much as you want uh, as much as channels as you want in every section so again, when, it's, when I'm talking about categories, I'm talking about these three right here. When I'm saying channels or channel ca channel lists, I'm talking about what's inside each category. So let's begin with this tutorial. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to find a link to my website, which is simplecore.com. Visit that website and you're going to have to register. Now, you, you need an account to access the... Uh, to access the files needed and the tools we need for this tutorial so just go on the website click on register and fill out this form which it's it's really simple to do fill it out or if you want you can uh, log in with Facebook Twitter or Google Plus so after registering just make sure to confirm your email it will send you an email to your email and make sure to confirm that check if it's in your junk mail it might be there so let's just log in. I already have an account. And I'm not a robot. And hit uh, food, select all the food. Okay. Verify and hit login. Now, after that, you're logged in, right? Like that. After you create an account in the uh, descrip uh, description below you're gonna find uh, another link which will get us to this right here now it's gonna look different because I'm gonna be adding this video that I'm record recording currently on here on the top and this is a description of it so uh, make sure to refresh the page to make sure you're logged in as you can see it says log out that means I'm logged in so if you scroll a bit down you're gonna find description files needed we need the plugin.video.simplecore. This is basically, it's going to give us a zip file which contains the main files that we need to make this plugin work. So just make sure to click on it. It's going to open up a new tab, which, is, which is an add file, add fly link. Just wait five seconds and hit skip. It's going to get you back to the website and it's going to say click here to download. Now if you're not logged in, this will not appear. So make sure you're logged in. Click here to download and it's going to download a zip file. Now if uh, the programs that we need is Kodi, Notepad++ and WinRAR. If you don't have any one of those, just click on them. 
it's going to get you to their main website you could download their uh, program from here and notepad plus plus and so on so drag and drop the, uh, the zip file to our desktop let me just open those back up so right here right click on it extract here now we need one RAR for this reason to extract file uh, zip files and after the extraction is going to create a folder right here called simple core video add, add on v2 version 2 so open it up it's going to have three folders in here let me just delete everything i have in my Kodi so i get basically a fresh install let me open up Kodi now i suggest that you guys have a fresh install because we're going to be editing and creating the video add-on if you guys want just it's fine to keep your normal Kodi without having a fresh install but it's always better to have a fresh install if you mess up or anything you won't uh, you won't have to erase everything so just create a backup of your Kodi and install a fresh install so let's be, uh, open up the add-ons folder we're gonna find some add-ons that are necessary so they are that are needed so this plugin that we're gonna be creating works so in here you're gonna find the YouTube add-on and some other uh, script add-ons that are needed so this add-on works so if uh, if you're gonna put your video add-on into a repository if you wanna know how to create a repository I have a video on that so if you wanna put your video add-on in a repository you don't need to put these uh, in your repo because they will automatically install so just uh, if you're not going to put it in a repository, you, we need to put these into the Kodi directory. So what, what we'll have to do is open up, click on the run, uh, sorry, on the uh, start menu, type in run. And you're going to type in percent app data percent forward slash Kodi. Now you can also do this by clicking on the uh, uh, start windows key and the R key and this will pop out again percent app data percent forward slash Cody hit OK this will open up go to add-ons if you have a fresh install you you will have just a couple of folders that's totally fine and copy everything from here to this right here do not copy the add-ons folder itself copy what's in it after doing that just exit out open up the folder again now we're basically done with add-ons folder now plug in that video dot simple chord that's basically the add-on that we will create if you guys want to call it something else that's totally fine so just replace a uh, simple chord but what with whatever you want so i'm going to call it for this tutorial plug in dot video dot core now make sure to edit everything after the dot don't edit anything before the dot so always make sure to have plug in dot video dot something no capital letters in here so dot core and remember what you have in capital letters right here I have, I have the K in capital so after that just open up the folder now I don't take any credits to this video add-on I did not create it someone else did I just modified it so it'll be easier for you guys to to implement your features in it your channel uh, your uh, yeah your channels that you want your links in it and uh, make it easier for you guys so we're going to be editing just four files and that's pretty much it you guys don't need to open up any other file so the first one is icon.png as you can see this is the icon of the plugin that i have if you guys want to change it that's totally fine but make sure it's the size of 256 times 256 to change the size of your uh, of your icon just right click on it click on edit paint will open up click on resize pixels or right here uncheck the maintain aspect ratio uncheck that and type in 256 and for the vertical 256 and hit OK and then click on save and make sure it's icon.png if you don't see the file extension names like .png, .py, .jpg or anything like that that's totally fine we can fix that real quick open up control panel go to appearance and personalization file explorer options 
and this will open up go to view and if you don't see the file extensions right here this will be checked as you can see I don't see them so make sure to uncheck hide extensions for known file types uncheck that hit apply and hit OK and we will see .jpg.png.py and so on so that's for the icon.png make sure it's in uh, it doesn't have any capital letters same thing for fanart it's fanart.jpg no capital letters also now you could have it uh, any size you want but I'd suggest a size bigger than uh, 1080 times uh, no sorry 1920 times 1080 now uh, mine is 2000 I think 500 2500 no 2560 yes sorry and times 1440 anything lower than 1920 times 1080 it's gonna be a bit uh, blurry so make sure to have a nice fan art so because we changed the folders name right here we're gonna have to change it also in two other places underscore edit dot py open it up we're gonna change it right here so simple core make sure to put in the capital letters that you placed in the folders name and hit save we'll get to that later on then click on add on dot xml and the ID right here we're gonna change it to simple core now again make sure it has the capital K the same thing for the folder and the thing in uh, underscore uh, in uh, underscore edit let me just close these files that I already had open so for the name right here this is the name that will be shown in Cody like uh, this is the name that will uh, that you will see in Cody itself so you can put whatever you want I'm gonna call it a uh, core video add-on <clears throat> leave the version like it is 1.0 providers name I don't mind you guys changing that just change it to whatever you want then over here it says summary you can change it just change the text in here and for description you can change it that's the description of the video add-on itself so that's pretty much it when you're done hit save don't edit anything else just like I said description summary name ID and providers name that's it exit out and for now we're done with the add-on for now we're gonna get to it later on so open up example now example contains the text files that you're gonna put your links in and your categories in as you can see we have live TV movies YouTube now you don't have to have these folders like that but I just put created the folders so it's easier for you guys to understand and to uh, visualize so home.txt is basically the main category it contains the main category and live TV right here it contains the channels that are in live TV movies it contains the movies in the movies sec category or section like I uh, said earlier in the video YouTube it contains the YouTube links in the YouTube section so home contains all of those all of those folders yeah basically again you don't have to have the folders but it's easier to have the folders you can just have the text files in example right here all of them here without having the folders but it's easier to understand for you guys so open up home.txt right here <clears throat> you're gonna see channels let me just open it up with notepad plus plus it's easier okay okay so you guys have we have channels right here the one with the s as you can see it highlights it there so every everything we open like channels we have to close it by slash channels so just don't play with channels the one with the s leave it like it is now I have live TV right here I have movies and YouTube if you want to add more channels more categories the channels here they mean categories so if you want to add more categories what you'll have to do is copy this from channel to slash channel copy it control C and hit enter and paste it in and call it whatever you want let's say uh, uh, TV shows shows 
and the other one uh, I don't know sports and so on if you want to add more categories to the video add-on but for this tutorial we're gonna have three categories which are live TV sport uh, movies and YouTube now the thumbnail right here the thumbnail is basically the small icon that will appear in the bottom right hand side of the of the add-on let me show you videos now for YouTube as you can see the fan uh, the thumbnail is basically the icon of the category so <clears throat> right here you can get the links anywhere but I already have the links uploaded to my server so live TV dot PNG so when I click on it it shows me the picture of live TV now I suggest that you guys upload the pictures that you want to your own server to Imgur or anything Imgur right here you can upload pictures for free or you can have your own f uh, upload them to your own web host now or you can just go to do a quick Google search let's say uh, ant man images and I click let's say on this right here and I click view image I can copy this link and paste it into into the thumbnail right here but like I said it's better to have it on your own server so I would just just download it and upload it to your own server or your own Imgur account like that you're sure that if this goes down uh, it will basically not show on your video add-on so if this uh, website owner if he decides to remove this uh, picture you won't have it so that's why it's better to upload it on your web, web host or on your Imgur account so that's a way of how to get a pictures if you want but I already have them on my server so for the fan art it's the thing in the background so for YouTube for example let me give you an example the fan art is the big YouTube red picture in the back you can see it so the fan art is that basically when you hover over it it will appear so I'm gonna have a fan art the same fan art for for every section fan art dot JPEG so again when I click on it it's gonna be an empty picture with nothing around it or anything like that okay for the info it doesn't appear anywhere so just if you want leave it like that and let's just copy the same fan art and paste it everywhere right there fan art and thumbnail it's gonna be this is for YouTube so youtube.png make sure that the link works right here and thumbnail it's gonna be movies.png if I click on it it's the movies icon now they can be any size so don't worry about that now for external link we're gonna get to that later on so basically we're done for this just hit save and go back to the folder right here now live TV now we're done with the home.txt for now so live TV this is the live TV this is the channel list that you're gonna have in the live TV section basically so I like I showed you before I had one channel which was vivo if you want to add more just copy everything from here and paste it like so and call it whatever you want let's say uh, uh, ESPN ESPN or anything like that but for this story we're gonna have one channel which is vivo now I'm not gonna give you the link you can just do a quick search on Google and you'll be able to get the the channels link uh, you can just search for m3u list or m3u live TV list or anything like that the thumbnail again is the thumbnail of it's the icon of the channel so I'm gonna paste it in it's called vivo.png no capital letters vivo.png and the fan art is fan art.jpg so after that just hit save when you're done go to movies we're gonna do the same thing and man again I'm not, I can't give you the link for that man so just you can get it anywhere on line I'm pretty sure about that 
So just let me put the admin dot jpeg and fan art dot p no jpeg and hit save. Now again, you can add as much as movies you want, like I said before, but we're not gonna do that for this tutorial. YouTube, YouTube. Now for YouTube, it's a bit different because as you can see, it says U, the letter YouTube, instead of link, like it said on the other files. So for YouTube, it uses a specific uh, code right here. It's U and Tube, and you put in the you don't put in the YouTube link. You put in the YouTube. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. So let's say uh, this is one of my videos. I click on it. Click on it so to view it on YouTube. This video will be sorry about that because I'll be. And after the equals, you're going to find letters and numbers. So just select them right here. Or you can click on share and you'll get the same right here. So copy it. No, sorry. Copy this right here. Control C. And then go back and paste it into YouTube right here. The code basically after the equals sign. You don't need to paste in the whole link. And the thumbnail again, it's the same thing. It's the uh, icon.png and the fanart, fanart.jpg. Now the thumbnail again, it's the icon of the channel. So if you guys want to add like, let's say the YouTube uh, link you can mix it up, you can add it into like, uh, like you see you the YouTube is right here, you can add it with the links, that, that doesn't matter. You can mix it up, you can add YouTube links with normal links, M3 links, it does not matter. So let's just, uh, actually let's just leave it right here, just to show you guys an example. Alright, so after we're done, if you guys have another section or anything like that, just create a new folder folder let's say tv shows and copy one of the text files in here tv show and paste it in and you can edit it let's say uh, tv show i don't know if the walking dead and you put in the link for it and so on now we're not going to do that now if you want to add a section or a category into a category which then opens up a channel list like like let's say for tv shows there's seasons for tv shows there's seasons so let's say in the main directory you want to add you want to add uh, tv shows so tv shows right here of course you're going to edit the links if you want like down here what I would suggest that you guys do, so you guys have a category inside a category, is create another folder, call it TV, call it section 2, let's say. And in section 2, you're going to have, let's say, episode episode 1, uh, season 1, sorry. Season 1, then you're going to have season 2, and so on. So, in season 1, there's number uh, a num an amount of number of uh, episodes and in season two there's a, an amount of number of episodes so if you guys want to put in a section into a section you copy this right here and you go to and you edit the names of course so episode uh, season sorry one season two and so on and so on so you guys would do that if you want to add a section inside a section. So we're going to delete that. It's a bit complicated, but it's easy to do and understand. So basically, the home.txt, it, it is the section's txt. So if you want to create another section, just copy this one. If you want to create a, a channel list, just copy one of the YouTube movies or TV show text files. That's pretty much it. Now we're going to open up, we're going to go to the website, uh, yeah, we're going to go to simplecore.com, hover over tools, uploader, now make sure you're logged in to get this uploader, if you're not logged in, you're not going to see it. So in here you're going to upload the files, the three 
files uh, folders right here just drag and drop them here and it's gonna upload them now this uploader no one will see your own files it's just between you and the server that's that's it no one will know your files but if you share your links with other people or someone gets your link of course they can see your file so as you can see I only can see my own because my my profile is called tutorial I see it right there I don't see the other users files so first of all open up the live TV right here you can right click you can open it so to view it basically you can right click on it you can uh, download it you can copy it you can cut you can delete edit file now this is really important I'll get to that later on so first of all just open it copy the link control C or right click and copy and paste it in this URL shortener what it does it just let me give you an example so simplecore.com becomes this link right here when I click on this link it gets me to simple core it, it makes the URL way it makes the URL shorter so we're gonna paste in this long link that we got from here when we clicked open copy and we paste it right here and you hit shorten and it's gonna give you this link so just click on it to make sure it works and as you can see it works so go back right click on it and copy link address now this is for the live TV so it's live.txt we're gonna go ahead and paste it into home open up home live TV is right here and we're gonna paste it into the external link like so right here you can see it we're gonna do the same thing for movies so we're gonna open up the movies folder right click on the movie dot movies dot txt click on open copy the link control C or right click and copy and paste it right here shorten click on it to make sure it works right click copy link address and we're gonna paste it into external links same thing for YouTube and you do that for all your categories basically and we paste it here make sure it works and it does so copy link address and we paste it into external link right like that so right here they're all filled out so we hit file save and we're gonna go into the main directory right here and we're gonna drag and drop home.txt in here now after it's in here you can right click on it to open and view it to make sure it's that so right click on it and sorry open it again copy the link control C and paste it right here control V I didn't copy it copy and paste and hit shorten get this just make sure it works right click and copy link address now again to get access to this uploader make sure you're logged in and you have an account now that link that we got we're gonna paste it into go to plugin.video.core underscore edit.py and we're gonna paste it right here into main base we paste it here and we hit save as you can see it pastes it right there and just make sure it works by double clicking and it gets us gets us to the right folder so after saving click X that's pretty much it now we just uh, we're gonna test this uh, video add-on that we just created so again open up run percent app data percent forward slash Cody hit OK add-ons we're gonna copy our add-on right click copy and we're gonna paste it make sure you're out of Kodi when you do this open Kodi video video add-on core video add-on as you can see the fan art is the big uh, simple Kodi in the back this is the icon dot PNG so when we open it you can change the view list right here as you can see we have the favorites live TV movies YouTube so this is the icons this is the uh, thumbnails right here 
and in the back it's the same fan art for each as you can see when I hover over all of them it's it, they have all the same fan art so let's say we go into live TV we have the Vivo this is the f uh, thumbnail for it and this is the fan art in the back and this is for the YouTube video I have so we can play one of them as you can see it works fine movies we have the Ant-Man give it some time to load right there Ant-Man YouTube so like I said you can have a lot of categories uh, as much as you want and you can have in the category another category basically so uh, if you wanna now if you click on favorites for the first time it's gonna give you an error as you can see uh, a way to get rid of this error is by this error uh, pops out because you don't have anything in your favorites so just add anything to your favorites so add to add on favorites now add to favorites that's the main Cody favorites add to add on favorites it's this it's the add-on it's your video add-ons favorites so click on it click on it and if we go to favorites it will work with the vivo and you can play it from here no matter it, it will work so if you, you can also right click and remove you can remove it from the favorites and when you click favorites even if it's empty it works so that's pretty much it for creating it and putting it all together now let's say you want to modify something let's say in the movies right here we we, we want to add more more channels or more movies so let me show you guys how you can do that because in the other add-on in the other tutorial the old tutorial i had you had to modify the add-on itself now you don't have to touch the add-on just you need to modify the text files online so let me just exit and go again to my tools uploader scroll down now i said i want to edit the movies so i can go here right click edit and you can edit the movie the uh, text file right here now this is really small and it's a bit hard to edit and to visualize so what i would suggest that you guys do is just edit the main edit the uh, the one that we had in example so it's movies so movies so just edit this one so let's say we're gonna add the vivo channel in here so we're gonna go into example just close that movies and we're gonna add like let's say all of these vivo channels in the movies just to give you guys an example so you guys save it and what you will do is just drag and drop it here it will overwrite the other one it says uh, already exists do you want to overwrite it hit, hit yes and it's overwritten and now just by doing that it should update automatically in Kodi if I go to movies you guys can see we have the vivo channels in here the four of them that i added just to give you guys an example now of course you're gonna have different names and different channels but this was an example you guys saw it was easy to update the add-on without we didn't need to update the add-on itself we just edited the text file which then edited the channel list in here uh, let's say you guys want to add a section into a section let me show you guys that real quick so let's say I want to add like I said episodes so right click new and I'm gonna call it TV shows oh, oops we don't need a text file we need a new folder TV shows and we're gonna create a new folder call it section 2 sec just call it 2 for now and drag and drop TV shows in it and we're gonna open up that just add a new category basically call it TV shows we're gonna change the link later on right like that uh, again if you want to get a picture you guys can I'll just leave it for now the same so copy home 
to paste home right here and we go into actually you're gonna call this one not TV shows you're gonna call it episode one season one sorry season one new season two and so on and then you go and we copy one of the live.txt and you just paste it into each one of them so now you guys will need to so call this one season season one season two and we're just gonna have two seasons for now uh, external link we'll have to edit that later on so save now what you guys would need to do is go to here create a new folder call it TV shows open it up actually no that folder has to be called we're gonna call it two for now rename two. open it a drag and drop the folders in it which is season one season two and so on and then we're gonna copy the links open control C shorten copy link now this is just an example to show you guys that it is possible and you guys can do it I'm going I might go a bit quick for you guys but it's it'll be easy for you guys if you can understand it and learn how to do it yourself copy link and season 2 right here file save I'm gonna upload this one into season 2 oops like so I'm gonna open it control C Jordan. No, it's not even that. Control C and paste, paste, shorten, and I'll get the link right here. And I'll paste it into home, which is TV shows right here. Now, I'm not going to call it TV shows. Uh, let's call it The Walking Dead, for example, and hit save. So now, because I edited the main home.txt, I'm going to just drag and drop it here, and I'm going to overwrite it, hit yes. So now, if I open up Kodi, video, video add-on, core, as you guys could see, The Walking Dead. Now, I know it has the same logo, but I just didn't change the icon. If I open it, there's Season 1, Season 2. I open Season 1. It has the channels as you could see so this is basically a section into a section now this is really useful when you have a uh, when you have a, a TV a, a video TV show sorry now you can also add a section into a section into another section so you guys can basically have live t uh, TV shows which then has The Walking Dead in it which then has season 1 season 2 and which then has the channels itself it's a bit long to do but uh, it's really simple as you get so I just did it in a couple of minutes and it worked so that's pretty much it for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comment section below and if you guys need any help or you run into any trouble and I'll add a contact us button on my website just go on there and uh, fill out the form and it should send me an email send uh, it should send me an email uh, with what you filled out the form with or you guys can uh, just leave a, a comment in the a comment in the comment section below and I'll answer or on the website leave a reply right here so please uh, like comment subscribe and thank you very much for watching and have a nice day bye bye